Hi again, T and Dainty here, and we're going to carry on with our 101 marketing questions for business growth, B2B business growth. Uh, as you notice, a lot of them have been articles lately uh, because people like to, some people like to read articles, some people like to do videos, so I thought I'd do a variation. But I want to get back to a video. And today's question 81, which is a question I get all the time and a question people res wrestle with all the time, and that is, um, will your B2B marketing be helped by answering RFPs? That is, should you answer RFPs as a B2B company? And it's a real uh, question and a dilemma that a lot of companies have. And I want to talk about when and why you should answer them and uh, if you should answer them at all. So let's look at um, some of the questions that you run into and some of the things you have to consider before you answer an RFP. First of all, what is an RFP? Well, it's called a request for proposal. And really what it is, it's a document that a company has uh, has um, uh, produced that asks a whole bunch of questions about your particular product or service to see if you can help them out. A little different from what they call an RFI, which is a request for information. And an RFI is not quite as detailed. They just want to get an idea. An RFI will go to maybe 20 or 20, 15 to 25 companies and an RFP might go out to a half a dozen companies. So they'll an RFI precedes an RFP so that they can whittle down into uh, the companies they think are, are uh, representative of what they need. So it's called a request for proposal. They're quite detailed and quite uh, lengthy um, uh, to fill out and, and obviously uh, the company that's asking for it has to spend a lot of time in doing it too. The first question you have to ask yourself when you get an RFP is are there any incumbents or is there an incumbent in it? Meaning is there somebody else that already has a similar product to yours, a competitor, that already is working with this particular company that's asking for the proposal? So is this who's, who's the um, incumbent, who's the vendor that's in there already? And that's important because usually the incumbent has a big input into what the RFP states are asked for so that they will tailor it to what they can do and what and obviously leave out what they can't do and so that's why it's important to understand if there is an incumbent and are they bidding now sometimes they won't let an incumbent bid on it uh, there are certain you know some companies won't allow that but if there are incumbents and they are bidding I'd be very wary about answering that RFP because 99 times out of 100, the incumbent's going to get the proposal, uh, going to get the work just because what I stated, they help write the RFP. And as an old saying, if you don't write the RFP, there's no point in bidding on it because they are a lot of work. I'll talk about that in a sec. And how many bidders are in on it? If you've got, you, you, might, you have to have a fairly strong position. You have to know who they are. As an example, if you're a small company in IBM and Microsoft and um, other top companies, HP, are bidding on this, what are your chances of winning it uh, as a small company? You must have a huge differentiator, uh, huge value proposition for this before you uh, can bid on it. And a lot of times that's hard to get across in the request for proposal, particularly if the incumbent has written it because it's not in there. And they may ask a little in, you know, what other, uh, uh, you know, right at the end somewhere after you've answered the 150 questions, you know, what, what other feature or benefit have you got that um, that might help us so and a lot of times we won't even get to that remember an RFP is written by and, and it, you have to get by a bunch of gatekeepers in order to get recognized for your RFP and, and in order to for them to to get onto the shortlist which might be two or three bidders in the end usually who have bid on it so these are very important questions you must ask before you uh, decide to bid on an RFP Another very important question to ask is, can you talk to the decision maker? And if they say, no, you can't, then I just run for the hills. So after you've gotten through all of these questions, are the incumbents bidding? Or are there incumbents and are they bidding? How many bidders are in there and who are they? A lot of times they won't tell you who they are, but you've got to get, you got to get that information somehow from somebody inside the organization or whatever. You've got to find that out because you'll just spend a lot of time uh, wasting your time if you don't. If you can't talk to the decision maker, that is, let's say it's the user group, the VP of whatever the user group is, um, whether it be sales or marketing or uh, automation or, uh, sorry, operations or whatever, 
um, finance, you've got to f talk to them so that you can get some information from them about why they want this product and uh, what are they looking for in it. So if you can't talk to the decision maker, I'd say run for the hills. Obviously, the decision criteria, you have to know what, how it's weighted. So when you get an RFP, every question isn't weighted the same. So you've got to figure out what the decision criteria is. What are they going to base their final decision on? And they're going to say, well, it's all these answers. And until you can talk to the decision maker, you don't really know that. So these are a lot of questions you've got to ask before you even think about bidding. And don't forget, and this is a real key, it's a lot of internal work for your company uh, to bid on an RFP. It's going to take your resources for maybe a month plus a whole bunch of other people's time so that you get the right answers to answer it. So before you say you're going to answer an RFP, you've got to really decide is it worth your company's time to do it and you've got to ask these other questions. Don't just jump into it. You've got to ask these other questions before you move ahead. Okay? So be aware that there is danger in answering an RFP um, and all of those questions you've got to ask and if you don't ask them then you're just I think you're wasting your time you have a 1% chance of winning it which basically says you're not going to win it so be very very wary about answering an RFP however more and more companies are using them now but before you answer one uh, and if that's all you do your business on then I think you're going to waste a lot of time doing it uh, if, you've, if, if you think it's a big enough uh, area for you to win some money or to win it because you're going to get a million or millions of dollars in it, then maybe you do look at it. But be very careful about answering them. Make sure you answer all those six questions first. So if you have any questions or you want to discuss this further, please uh, email me at ian at b2bbusinesscoach.com or give me a call at my phone number down below and let's discuss this further. And also please comment on this video. Um, if you, about the information you're getting from it, and please pass it on to your colleagues and other people you think might be interested in it. Thanks a lot. Until next time.